butt chat. Hopefully we're streaming again. There we go. Nice. I want to turn back my turn my video back on the computer one. Nice. So we lost the <laughs> oh God, you're back. We lost the connection. So this is going to be part two of a cigar live stream that we're doing on uh, basically looking through a Cuban cigar catalog you'll find the link to part one in the description of this video if you're watching on youtube and bitshoot for those of you that are coming back um for this live stream there's a whole bunch of people watching this we're talking about cigars and whatnot we're going to wait a little bit for people to show up uh because notifications will have to go out again if they're going to go out um I'm not sure how many people we had I think we had around uh, 40 50 people uh, enjoying looking through this catalog so we'll see um, how many people can make it back in that time and my apologies about that elder God actually this has happened four times this week on four separate streams and we are back awesome young boy. I'm assuming it's got to be a twitch glitch right twitch glitch that should be a hashtag or something twitch glitch um, probably is already so uh, we're gonna wait until people roll back in okay and if you haven't seen the first part of this video if you're watching on YouTube and BitChute you probably want to watch the first part uh, I show you my domino set that I bought from Cuba we look at some Cuban cigar boxes uh, Hoyo de Monterey double corona destroy that we still have so you can get a size feel for it and I give you a little bit of uh, intro as to uh, what it is that we are doing here what it is that we're looking at okay uh to lich <laughs> the lich on the cross says right so we'll see how many people end up rolling back and while we're waiting gang might as well do my intro i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to know what this is all about okay it's layered on top of mathematics which is my main gig that uh, Cheryl how are you doing welcome back uh, my main gig which is what I decided to do like 15 years ago 13 years ago when I 14 years ago when I loaded up my first math video on YouTube uh, which is basically try to uh, help as much as I can to teach mathematics make sure everybody in the world is literate in the language of mathematics to the best of my abilities we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e envious good evening from germany how are you doing interesting topic tonight. interesting topic tonight uh envious it's something that uh what do you call it uh i promised to do a while ago we had 28 people on drop i think so 20 people dropped uh I checked it and it was like 48 or 50 something like that uh, before we dropped so hopefully they can make it back by the time we finish our uh, what do you call it our intro so for those of you that are watching on twitch here live subscribing following for those of you supporting through patreon thank you very much for your support uh, I hope you enjoy the content we do jump around a lot but there is a rhyme and reason to the madness of course right we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on hello minds vk parlor twitter uh, gab and twitter and a few minutes before we go live for unscheduled live streams which i think we will have a couple next week okay for live streams where we don't have any visuals involved we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and those podcast audios should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading the stream on bitchute and youtube and if you're following this work on bitchute and youtube um, by following subscribing uh, supporting turning on notifications and if you're on YouTube by joining YouTube membership you can support this work uh, for us to continue to producing as much as we can and share as much as we can and start rolling us of the mathematics that we have planned out to do no one go my admin joke. no one got my admin, admin joke 
Thank God. I didn't, I didn't get it. I, I didn't, I don't think I even read it. If, if I did, it went over my head, brother. I just figured you were in disguise, Elder God. So I'm going to turn off, take these guys down. Now let's continue looking at the different types of cigars that are available from Cuba through the Monte Cristo. And we're looking at the Monte Cristo uh, catalog, what they offered at the time in the 1990s if you wanted to buy a Monte Cristo cigar. And what I'm going to do, the chat's going to stay on, the chat's going to stay on, notifications will stay on, but I'm going to take off this video uh right here that way we can get a full look on the different types of cigars okay hopefully we won't lose the stream again so let me take these off i'll see you guys after we finish okay i wouldn't be surprised if youtube didn't like it because it's kind of tobacco ad i hope not i hope they don't give us a hard time with this uh because this is cigar aficionado uh just talking about it edmund uh, Edmond Dantes is the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> okay. Is that what it is? Edmond Dantes is the Count of Monte Cristo? Cool. I didn't get it. You're German too, right? Your name sounds like it. Laser Mensch. So these are the different brands of Monte Cristo that were available, right? Yo Hoyas? No, hold on. Let's study. Look at this one first. Monte Cristo B. Okay. For some reason. Twitch doesn't like very German. Crazy. Twitch is blocking certain words. Right. You got the Hoyas. We got the Monte Cristo Special. And this one was very much like the Lanceros, Cohiba Lanceros. So I didn't like these very much. The draw wasn't as hard as the Cohiba Lanceros. The Cohiba Lanceros were a really tough draw. Okay. You got the Monte Cristo Special number two. Which is again a smaller gauge 38 the monte cristo tubos this is the tubes that you saw in the box that i have and they were pretty good monte cristo number one not bad gauge of 42 right we got locked up on part one when we we're mentioning monte cristo 2. this is the one monte that i've probably smoked the most actually no the epicure one and two Oh no, that's a Hoya de Monterey, sorry. Monte 2 is probably, the torpedoes are probably the ones that I've smoked the most. Amazing, amazing cigar. If you want something full body, but on the lighter side, it's not like a Cohiba and some of the other stronger um, Cuban cigars. The Monte 2 is a brilliant smoke. Very nice smoke indeed. You got Monte 3, again on the lighter side. Monte Cristo in general is a, is a lighter Cuban smoke okay Monty 4 Monty 5 you have the Monty 6 right Monty 7 longer right and the ultimate that very few people would smoke was a Monte Cristo A which is the very very long cigar huge right it's a gauge of 47 okay and length of 23 235 millimeters 23.5 centimeters the a got a whole page the a got a whole page right and i believe these should be to the actual size that you get right so the monty 2 is actually that size the monty a is actually i should have brought a ruler just to measure it but i think this is the actual size you would get right what cigar would you recommend for a beginner uh, I would recommend young Polacks Monty's are on the lighter side so Monte Cristo is a good starter not bad but I would say start off with the H Opmans okay we'll get to the H Opmans or the Romeo Juliet's the H Opmans are on the lighter Cuban cigars I believe they're probably the lightest Cuban cigar out there uh, the Romeo Juliet is brilliant smoke as well, and there's a lot of different uh, brands of the Romeo Juliet, right? And this is the graphics for the Romeo, Romeo Juliet. Classic, 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 right? Beautiful graphics. 
it's the graphics that I like the most actually the boulevard I love as well boulevard is a brilliant smoke but that's not for a beginner okay boulevards are phenomenal now take a look at take a look at the Monte Cristos okay one two three four five six pages uh, not Monte Cristo sorry six pages of Romeo Juliet's right and I've probably smoked about half of these right and they're brilliant 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 actually hold on a second seven and a bit pages right so there's more you know picture of harvesting tobacco leaves I love the Cuban sense of humor but I can't elaborate here <laughs> right Tre petite coronas, petite coronas, tre petite coronas. These are gauge of forty, right? And they're shorter smokes, okay? And they're basically the same cigar. And these ones would have come in without the labels on them in packs like this. And these ones would be laid out more flatter, okay? So they're basically the same smoke. And Romeo Juliet is nice. Romeo Juliet. Uh, Churchill's are brilliant smokes okay and there's a Shakespeare here there's like so many different Romeo Juliet sport La Lagos Shakespeare Romeo number Romeo number three and they have the Romeo number three uh, the deluxe or whatnot but they also have these not in tubes a small cigar would last you about half an hour okay don't smoke cigars fast Romeo number two Romeo Roma two deluxe Romeo number one and Romeo number one deluxe or no Romeo number two deluxe or there is there's got to be a Romeo number one deluxe as well okay Chicho might I ask if you drink a glass of whiskey with your cigars if so which one do you prefer yeah I drink uh, I usually drink spirits with my cigars uh, whiskey and I go all over the place with whiskey I do like Jameson okay petite princess this is a nice little smoke really petite princess Pladoso de Romeo I don't I don't think I've smoked this one uh, but I like the cognac is amazing with cigars I really like drinking cognac with cigars uh, whiskey on the rocks or neat is amazing Prince of Wales is a great smoke this Romeo Juliet is fantastic fantastic okay highly recommend Romeo Juliet Prince of Wales and the Romeo Juliet Churchill's and they're the same size right so this is a Romeo Juliet Prince of Wales you come across this is a Romeo Juliet Churchill if you look at the Romeo Juliet Prince of Wales is gauge 47 and 178 length and the Churchill is the same uh, 47 and 178 length right so I would say go with the Churchill if you like the longer smokes bigger smokes it's on the lighter side not as light as the H Oppmann okay so we flip through this regalas the Londres regalas la, the La Habana Romeo number one deluxe for sure I always thought that cigars were worse for the body than cigars no as far as I'm concerned they are not uh, because you don't inhale the cigars right did we look at that one we haven't looked at the inside page no we haven't so let's look in the inside page see all the different brands I know some people will appreciate this right northern boy from Montreal palms reels pantellas I smoked a few of these they, these are nice little simple smokes the pantellas these ones quick don't get the ones in the foil okay if you're gonna get them get the ones that are outside the foil uh, perfectos again don't get the foiled ones get the ones that aren't foiled Petite Coronas are fantastic. I believe I started my adventure into the Cuban cigar world with Coronas and Petite Coronas. Okay, with Romeo Juliet. Petite 
Petite Coronas again. Petite Julietas. These are amazing. The Petite Julietas is a great smoke. Very good smoke. Very good smoke. Exhibition number four. What a phenomenal cigar. What a phenomenal cigar. Is there something wrong with the foil one? The foil ones don't age as well, right? Because if you're buying cigars, you don't want them to be surrounded by plastic. You want them to be surrounded by cedar, right? And other cigars. So they don't age as well. The ones with the foil, you want to smoke. You don't want to sit around the humidor too long. You want to just smoke, right? So they're okay with buying individuals if you're on the go. Exquisitos, great smoke, great smoke okay fantastic smoke i haven't smoked these ones favoritos here are the julietas and this one i smoked a lot it's a good simple smoke 45 minutes smoke or so eagles and cycling hey man it's quite unhealthy to smoke cigars no um it depends if you're smoking every day yeah it's unhealthy if you're smoking as far as i'm concerned a little bit meal fleurs uh as a meditative practice I think the health benefits you get from sitting back for a couple of hours and just thinking and meditating and relaxing are they supersede the uh, the bad that the tobacco has right and keep in mind Cuban cigars they're grown organically there's no chemicals here there's no anything else other than tobacco here okay like literally there's nothing else except the they use the glue for the binding to put the binding on right and the glue is a sap of a tree in general uh, it's a sap of a tree right nationals are pretty good too yes like eating a hamburger is that's how i look at it yeah basically i consider smoking a cigar less harmful than eating a hamburger tell you the truth uh, within reason not every day don't smoke every day Coren corinitas corinitas the cedro corinitas with cedar right wrapped with cedar churchill what a great smoke churchill romeo juliet churchill yeah definitely depends on how often you smoke indeed and churchill tubos right. exceptionalis you got uh, exhibition number three and exhibition number four and this is exhibition number four with the label on it uh, and where was the other one here's the exhibition number four without the label right they're like the epicures the Hoya de Monterey epicures and then look at these ones this is Churchill size so they call it something else I haven't smoked this could be just from a different factory that was producing these clarinas Clemen Cias Club King. I haven't smoked any of these three. Club Kings. Again. Right. Coronas for sure. Smoked a lot of Churchill Coronas. Coronas again without the label on it, right? Coronas Grandes. And these are good too, the Coronas Grandes. Very nice. Belvedere's haha <laughs> Belvedere's I smoked a little bit of these just for the hell of it they're on the lower end okay Casal Casalados these are great smokes as well Casalettos man makes me want to go work in a Cuban cigar store these ones here you see uh Cular Brass they're basically three cigars meshed I believe so anyway three cigars meshed in together you'll see it without the wrapper in the other name brands that they have what they look like it's like three cigars sort of curved in within each other it's a very interesting smoke i i smoked one or two of these not too many um it was interesting right cedro deluxe number one And then you got Cedro Deluxe number two. C 
Citrus Deluxe number three. What are the ranges? Eagles uh, Recycling says, what are the ranges in pricing with cigars generally? Like from five bucks for one to hundreds of dollars for one. Um, Cuban cigars generally, you're talking, and this is part, I guess. Cuban cigars generally, um, there are some that you could get back in the 90s at around the five dollar range four or five dollar range and they were actually pretty good smokes right but cuban cigars in general are anywhere from the teens to on average from the teen well let's say the most of the range of the normal distribution right if you do mathematics the normal distribution right if you go one standard deviation away they range anywhere between 15 dollars to 40 dollars right so that's basically one standard deviation away you could say the mean is around 28 dollars or so there are some as low as four dollars or so and there were special ones that they put out that were anywhere between uh 80 90 dollars a cigar and i'm pretty sure there are higher ones than that as well but those are the ones that we had in our store okay particus has a lot of brands and particus is a great smoke as well gang okay fantastic smoke really very fine smoke very recognized brand particus okay and particus and here's the one where i mentioned is the three cigars rolled into one culora bras cul bras whatever it's called i can't pronounce it okay and particus has a lot of different uh brands right and by the way gang I don't think we can go through all the different brands here we, we, we got this much more to go and uh, we're limited with the stream so I'm gonna just flip through this right we're not gonna look at all the brands Coronas are fantastic again the Corona size and some of these are the Corona is the size right so if you go inside a Cuban cigar store if you say I want a Corona right they'll ask you well what brand do you want right okay and then the Churchill we got down here Particus is a fantastic smoke uh, I've smoked a lot of Particus Churchill's these guys here and where's the other one I've smoked a lot Lusitania's Lusitania's this is the double corona size this is a fantastic smoke gang lusitanias okay i think i still have one or two boxes of lusitanias uh, just the empty boxes right great smoke great smoke okay and partigas i would say probably has the highest number of varieties of smokes okay lusitanias are amazing uh, the foil ones are generally uh, quick smokes okay palms grandes is a little bit on the tight side okay these ones here not bad we had a one of these tubes that i showed you in part one of the string okay the eight nine eights were pretty cool the eight nine eights were pretty cool so there's a whole bunch of Partagas brand that we had. Selection Priva number one. I don't think I ever had one of these. Man, I would love to try one of these ones. Look at that smoke. Look at that smoke. Looks beautiful. Right? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and the Robustos. Where is the where is the Cohiba? So, oh, series this is the robusto size series d number four this cigar is as far as robustos goes fantastic really this is one of the best robustos there is love this robusto okay game if you're gonna try out a robusto if you have a choice between cohiba or this cohiba is fantastic full-bodied heavier than this this one is very beautiful very beautiful okay beautiful smoke nice 
here's the H Hopman that I mentioned okay makes me want to try cigar too much to choose from a lot to choose from it's uh, a beautiful beautiful hobby if you want to call it right here's the H Hopman logo best for blunts man if you're gonna destroy a Cuban cigar to make a blunt don't <laughs> Rafa that's what I would say I used to roll blunts with Cuban cigars because when I uh, with Cuban tobacco because when I worked at the Cuban cigar store there was extra we would get bags of tobacco Cuban tobacco that just came and no one was using them so I would be taking those home and rolling blunts there was a period where I was smoking Cuban cigar blunts deep dark beautiful here's the H Altman's right H Altman if you're new to cigars okay and you need a lighter smoke H Altman connoisseur number ones are brilliant great smoke there again I'm only recommending thicker ones right now for a reason I don't know why just because I smoked a lot of thicker ones I smoked the smaller ones too but um, the smaller ones the Corona's are good too the H Hopman but these ones are lighter the bigger ones tend to be a little bit lighter Winston Churchill fantastic smoke fantastic smoke uh, this is live this is live I, I've tasted a pipe I've never smoked a pipe super coronas actually no I've smoked a couple of bowls but tobacco H Altman number one great smoke H Altman number two torpedo great smoke great smoke okay H Altman has these ones as well, the rolled cigars. Okay. Major Coronas. Very cool. Royal Coronas, H Altman are fantastic. You got short coronas. H Altman seems to have a lot of different brands as well. Right? Oh, H Altman Monarchs. Gang. The Monarch is a Churchill size. And you want to smoke it if you're gonna this is just recommendation disclaimers given right for anyone that needs a light smoke something that lasts a while and is brilliant H up and monarchs absolutely fantastic I I had a few boxes of these these are an amazing smoke and it's Churchill size okay uh, these books uh, that mug I have no idea I bought this in a Cuban cigar uh, factory in Cuba back in the 1990s the Magnum is a little bit heavier okay and they weren't selling these I had to make them a special offer and buy a whole bunch of cigars to be able to get my hands on this okay short Corona petite Coronas these petite Coronas are really good too a chocolate petite Coronas delicious delicious right Royal Corona's the Royal Corona's are absolutely beautiful for a Chapman right beautiful that's the each Chapman Hoyo de Montre Hoyo de Montre one of my favorite favorite labels of Cuban cigars Hoyo de Monterey's are probably the one that I have smoked the most with Romeo Juliet. Okay. But Hoyo de Monterey's especially. And Hoyo de Monterey's are ah, Particales. This is the Monte A size. Large, right? 47 gauge, 235. Monte Cristo Churchill's. The double coronas and this is now we can test to see if these are the actual sizes and they should be the actual sizes because here is the Hoyo de Montre double corona right 
that's destroyed that I have in a box and it's the same size right so what you see here WYSIWYG right here let me bring it up because for some reason the camera if you line it up oops let's check it out right for some reason because this is the cigar is sitting on top of the paper it's showing it bigger but if you look at it like this it's the same size <laughs> take a look it's the same size right so you're getting an optical illusion of like this it looks longer but it's not it's the same size if you look at it in 3d right so again this is an amazing smoke amazing smoke okay fantastic i'm just putting the hoyo de monterey back in the box and we're back on this right and by the way gang two of the greatest epicure sizes are from hoyo de monterey epicure number one okay so double coronas 100 percent epicure number one epicure number two phenomenal phenomenal smokes phenomenal smokes and the epicure number one comes in this box right this is the size of the cigar for the epicure number one okay i wish it was full i wish it was full we might have to do a cigar stream right so there's a whole bunch of epicures right here's more and i haven't uh sorry epicure the hoyo de monterey's and i've probably smoked about probably about half of these brands okay All right. so there's a lot of and this one is really good too the particular particulares curious particularis <laughs> okay ah uh, here's another one punch punch is a fun smoke very underrated cuban cigar punch okay great smoke great smoke oh the mias extras i haven't smoked this one this is the monte a size okay i haven't smoked this one Churchills I've smoked obviously the Churchills are amazing punch Churchills okay the Coronas are really good too I think there's a Dominican punch as well by the way Eddie okay I've had one before does punch make cigars that are not Cuban yeah but it's it's what happened is after the revolution some of the families that they were in growing these name brands they went to dominican and they started creating cigars under the same name and i believe there's dominican punch as well i could be mistaken okay and punch has a lot of different brands punch double coronas great punch monarchs fantastic okay fantastic oh the punch punch <laughs> the punch punch this is a great smoke gang the punch punch was fantastic so good so good so good royal selection number 11 number 12 phenomenal right petit coronas nifas palmeras residentas look at that so good so good delicious delicious oh here we go you want a full-bodied cuban cigar you want something that is so underrated it's a shame right you want to smoke a cigar cuban cigar that when you're around people who know cuban cigars you pull those baby out they'll drool 
and that's Boulevard Royal Coronas you pull this baby out in any cigar lounge and you'll have heads turning your way right not because of its size not because of its cost but because it is one of the most full-bodied brilliant delicious smokes ever if I was given a choice of smoking a Boulevard Royal Corona or a Cohiba uh, Cohiba Robusto because this is a Robusto size I would smoke a Boulevard Royal Corona okay brilliant smoke brilliant smoke okay loved it loved it loved it and Boulevard oh wow for me if I was given a choice to smoke a Monte Cristo number no. two torpedoes or a Belasosos Finos the torpedo from Boulevard I would pick a Boulevard I would pick the Boulevard okay full body this is not a beginner's cigar Boulevards all of them are not beginners cigars these are strong 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 okay Boulevard Coronas Gigantes phenomenal literally Boulevard is one of the greatest cigar brands labels coming out of Cuba or it was in the 1990s okay fantastic you walk into a Cuban cigar shop and they're gonna ask you what would you like to get right and you turn to them and say show me the boulevard section and the person uh, if they know their cigars and I I hope they do if they're working the Cuban cigar store uh, they'll go respect respect and walk away and let you enjoy and they'll just hang back until you have a question for them and they'll come over and say uh, yes sir okay or yes ma'am boulevards highly recommended label from Cuba okay la gloria cubana la gloria cubana great great brand really great brand I haven't smoked too many of these take sampled you know whatever we had in the store and they don't have that many there's only a handful right I probably smoked all of these right but la gloria cubana okay let me find the one that I smoked the most uh, tenos tapas sabros mini I think it was these ones when we could get them there was a period where I smoked a little bit of these I tell you the truth I can't remember which one it was because it just short it lasted a short little while but la gloria cubana is it la gloria cubana is a great smoke it's on the medium side okay it's on the medium side and it's nice and here's this picture of the cigar uh, the tobacco fields again and the barn you see there most likely that's for curing right there's tobacco leaves hanging there look at the barns in the back too see that man gotta visit Cuba again haven't been for 20 years Florida Rafael Gonzalez another fun smoke well, not a fun smoke not too many of these either but they are good smokes pentalas they're a good smoke for small cigar they were good they were affordable okay the pentalas good smoke and affordable and some of these other brands they are more affordable than the other ones okay Corona's extras fantastic robusto size right. great smokes great smokes right. 
El Rey do Mundo. Yes, 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 please. Yes, 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 please. Did we look at the label of this well enough? Yeah, it's a simple logo, right? It's a simple logo. And I'm pretty sure. Did we look at this one well enough? Let's look at this one well enough. That was the La Gloria Cubana. Right, beautiful graphics. And Cuban art is magnificent, by the way. Cuban comics, caricatures, huge. So unique, so unique. Very unique. Okay. Here's the El Rey do Mundo. Manca in per something detecta. Horses, elephants, and camels. Donkeys and goats. Cool. He ate me. Hello, hello. Welcome to another live stream. El Rey do Mundo is pretty nice. Ah, look at this guy. Big smile on his face. That was basically me walking around Cuba with a cigar in my mouth constantly right awesome awesome el rey do mundo show supreme fantastic i'm not sure how you pronounce that the supreme very good very good smoke fantastic smoke grand coronas from el rey do mundo fantastic smoke fantastic smoke Not bad, good selection, right? Grand Coronas without the label up top. Nice, nice. Por la ran, ran, la ranaga. Por la ranaga. <laughs> I'm brutalizing the name, right? Nice, simple. A bit off topic, but what were your thoughts on Fidel Castro? I, man, Fidel Castro was an idealist, Che Guevara. Uh, Fidel Castro was a realist, Che Guevara was an idealist. Uh, they led a revolution for the people in Cuba, okay, to basically, uh, and this is going to get flagged on YouTube because there's a lot of people. Uh, in Miami Cuban ancestry that detest Castro and the revolution but they basically turned a country that was considered to be the whorehouse of the Americas with basically 90% illiteracy and within a decade decade and a half turned it into basically a hundred percent literate country okay and it wasn't known as the gambling capital of the world or gambling capital of the Americas and the whorehouse of the Americas anymore, right? They educated everyone. That to me was what really attract, attracted me to the revolution. When they were fighting the revolution in the mountains, right? Just farmers and peasants going against the CIA and the dictators in Cuba one of the things that had set up there was schools in the mountains to teach people how to read and do mathematics and to me that is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing okay that's my thoughts they chewed exclusive elder god says <laughs> no this one's going on youtube as well this one's going on youtube as well monte carlos nice these are good smokes by the way okay par laran laranaga and they're on the not they're the, me uh, they're not that expensive they're in the mid-range okay they're in the mid-range sancho panza fantastic brand really underrated underrated sancho panza okay and all of this i'm referring to in the 1990s right 
I'm not sure what the cigars are like now that are coming out of these different brands, but Sancho Panza, fantastic, fantastic. Bello, Bello Cosos, such a delicious cigar, such a delicious cigar, right? Amazing, amazing. It's basically the torpedo of Sancho Panza and full bodied by the way full bodied phenomenal and i've smoked the sancho's the monte a size right the sancho's and uh they were good they're very good coronas gigantes these were fantastic as well okay corona gigantes these are like double corona size very delicious very delicious very delicious Sancho Panza underrated fantastic smoke really know this brand if you're new to cigars and are trying to find something on the more affordable side in terms of Cuban okay I have noticed many of the cigar names have political connections very interesting very interesting indeed very interesting indeed with the ultimate being the boulevards of course with the Bolivarian Revolution right Ramon Alonis, fantastic brand, guy. Such a great brand. Such a great brand. Okay. Ramon Alonis, great cigar. Look at this. Here's a pick of curing. And what they do here, they de stem them, I believe, right? Package them up. Hey, actually, these, are, these guys are just hanging them possibly hold on let's see if we can focus on this thing there you go right so they could be just packing them uh tying them up just for them to be cured longer somewhere else there they are hanging and they're probably moving them somewhere to be to be cured in a barn or something right in a closed environment and this brand ramon alones underrated fantastic the gigantes are amazing okay the coronas fantastic great smoke i probably smoked about a third of the ramon alones that you see here okay uh they're good they're very good they're very good smokes very good smokes saint louis ray saint louis ray look at this look at this what a great brand what a great brand oh look god i prefer the subtle connections but that reference yes very noticeable very noticeable indeed saint louis ray the difference in the cigars there uh some of the ones they're they're made in different factories and the labels on the back of the boxes sort of link it up to the different factories that they're made okay so certain factories may produce uh, you know they might produce a romeo juliet uh partagas and monte cristo but they specialize in a certain size right or they produce this this variety of partagas this variety of monte cristo and this variety of romeo juliet right and the different factories are for the really phenomenal you know the aficionados that really know their history of cuban cigars they can date it back to the year and the factory that things came from and whatnot it, it goes very intricate and it's a code that cuba uses to define which factories the cigars came from as far as the labels go right certain cigars are more full-bodied than other brands like the h Altmans are light okay and the cohibas tend to be on the heavier side the boulevards are on the super heavy side okay um there is there's a there's another brand i don't know if we ha i have the info for that one as well um it there's a few different brands that are just so full body and a few brands that are more on the lighter side right so it's basically about full body taste or not my favorite there there is no i would say hoyo de monterey double corona 
Hoyo de Monterey Double Corona was one of the most brilliant smokes ever. It is the only cigar in Cigar Aficionado that used to do rating for cigars that got a 99 out of 100. Okay, and I didn't know that until I started smoking the Hoyo de Monterey Double Coronas. I love the Hoyo de Monterey Double Coronas, the Romeo Juliet Churchills, the H. Altman Monarchs, okay, the Partagas Gigantes, the um, Boulevard Royal Coronas and the Boulevard uh, Torpedoes and the Boulevard Robustos, okay, that size, amazing cigars, amazing cigars. And I'll show you another one if I can find it here, okay. Panseca, Panseca. Right. A fine cigar is like a fine whiskey, and the taste is just a just as various, indeed. And there aren't too many of these ones. And here they are. Look at this, just curing. Look at that, right? This is cigar heaven. Right? You walk into one of these warehouses where they're curing the tobacco. It's got a damp feel to it, and the aroma. And the smell is just unbelievable right I probably smoked a couple of different varieties two or three different at least at least three of these I can't remember which ones right Cossacos de le, de le Kias Fonseca number one right Invectos and the K KDT Cadetis. It's not gonna focus, it's too there it is. KDT Cadetis. La Flora the Cano. J Cano. J Cano. Not bad. Not bad. I never smoked uh anything from J Cano that really stood out to me okay i did sample some of them they don't have that many right uh but it's a good smoke it's a cuban here they are here's the leaves being hung right to be cured and the different size leaves uh are used for different parts of the cigar and the cigar has wrapper binder and filler the filler goes on the inside the binder is the one that goes around it and the wrapper goes around that gives it that beautiful polished and the finest leaves the biggest leaves are used for the wrapper okay beautiful beautiful right and they only have two and eight eight varieties in the 90s anyway they might have introduced newer ones and some of these would have been this discontinued okay Troy great great brand did we look at the yeah that was a simple graphic just the name which is okay here's the Troy cool and again not too many of these there's only two of these probably smoked the Univa universalis i don't remember smoking the this one corona club uh two ballas maybe i probably would have sampled these okay since they had two we would have probably carried both of them okay they probably introduced uh what do you call it more cigars for troy more more sizes look at that just curing tobacco right very cool los tatos deluxe los tatos deluxe i don't know this brand well at all we might not have carried it let's see if it focuses Tobacco Habana Finos Oh 
Oh, brivas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've smoked brivas. Very nice. This is a nice smoke. The brivas. I think it was this brand. Okay. Brivas. Great smoke. Okay. Nice. Las Tatos. I guess I probably didn't smoke too many of them because it all, looks like all four at the time were wrapped in foil. Quintero, Quintero, Quintero. This was a great smoke. This was a great smoke. Quintero. This brand. Underrated. Or let me rephrase. They were very affordable for what you were getting. Great smoke, great smoke. Okay. Great smoke, great smoke. Quintero Coronas and Churchills. Yeah. Okay. And Brivas. They have Brivas size as well. Very nice. And you can tell there's no double Corona size in this, right? So they don't, they didn't, haven't rolled out all of the sizes for each brand right the older brands the ones that have been around the longest would all have the double corona size okay. oh there's one brand here uh kobawa and i don't have it uh one brand that i love smoking uh i wish i could find the name i should have looked for it i thought we had the thing for it but we don't this is also a great brand k d'orsay okay k d'orsay i smoked a few of these show now with a cigar in his mouth lots of passion for this topic yeah elder god cigars were a huge part of my life and i'm very happy about that right learned a lot in the cigar world learned a lot in cigar lounges talking to judges gangsters businessmen lawyers beggars and tourists and all types of different people actors and actresses and uh, and whatnot and this is a good brand gang on the affordable side at the time anyway k d'orsay okay and great smokes corona doop. what does that say claro corona claro claro grand corona okay imperiales and pentala i've smoked these four i know for sure I don't know if I smoked the Pentelas. I, I wasn't attracted to the thin, uh, the Lancero size, right? Quaba, Quaba, Quaba is another brand of Cuban cigar that, unfortunately, I don't have. I don't have. I don't know if they still make it or not. And that was a brand which was extremely full-bodied. It was stronger than Boulevard, okay, and. It was amazing. I loved that smoke. It was affordable. Uh, and it was only two or three different types that they had. It was called Quaba. Okay. If I remember the name correctly. And they were like the torpedo style cigars. And I don't have that uh, listing in this catalog. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Strong connections in the cigar world. Mine is whiskey. Yeah. And at the time... In bars here you used to be able to go into clubs and smoke cigars and it was amazing just imagine smoking a stogie and playing pool brilliant 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 these are some of the boxes right I never came across the black box that's a Monte Cristo uh, okay so I never saw the black box 
this might have been just a humidor oh it is just a humidor so oh, it looks like a black box they probably sold this but take a look so i never had these black boxes that's an a chopman one that's a hoya the monterey i believe that's the monte cristo label Look at this. Oh, does this make you drool if you're a cigar aficionado? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my, oh my. Delicious, delicious. And here's a whole bunch of other boxes. Let's take a look at this. Right. There's the Boulevard, Parthicus. And then take a look at this. These are the boxes that I showed you, right? Chicho, have you tried the Arthur Fuente Opus X? Yes, I have, Rendell. That's the Dominican cigar. The Opus X is fantastic. Uh, I have tried uh, about four different size uh, types of uh, the Arthur Ferrente, uh, probably four or five, five or six probably. But the Opus X was an amazing smoke in the 1990s. The Opus X is robusto size, I believe, right? Great smoke. Let's see what this says. Uh, boop. Let's check this out. Ivanes de Calita para. I have no idea what that says. Anybody know Spanish? So these are specialties, right? And these are some of the things. Take care, Cheryl. Thank you for being here. Hey, that's me. <laughs> This is total shining, so it's not going to show. Fantastic. On the last page of this, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, look at this. Pinal de Rio region again. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful. And there's a little write up at the end. So let's read the little write-up at the end as well. And we're at the end, right? I gotta get my hands in the koala one. Let's check this out. Habanas SA hopes you have hopes you have found exactly the cigar you want for maximum smoking pleasure. We have presented this wide selection of the best cigars in the world so that you too will agree that that Habanos fully deserve the worldwide prestige they have had for centuries. Cuban cigar makers are proud of their tradition and skill. They and all the others who take part in this process put their best into their work so you will you will you will always get a product that will give you singular pleasure from each smoke habanos a natural product all the best cigars in the world we intend to remain worthy of our reputation fantastic fantastic oh well, let me make sure this is in correctly All right. let me give this a little dust it's been sitting where is my little duster thing i dusted some of these stuff off but i didn't get to the end so i'm gonna just dust this off nice nice and let's close this off 
Oh, that was loud. Apologies, gang. Apologies. Oh, look at this one. I forgot to put this one right the right way. So let's put this one the right way as well. Right? Are they all the right way? They're all the right way. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna turn on my camera again. Put this aside. Let's turn our camera on. It's too bad about the, it got, uh, what do you call it, locked up, so we have to restart, so this is a two-parter video. But it is what it is, it is what it is, right? And. We took a little bit longer than a couple of hours for the stream, which is okay, which is okay. I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, fantastic, really. This really wants me one, getting me to want to get my hands on some more cigars and build myself. And all you need for a little humidor, by the way, go to the lumber store, get yourself untreated cedar, right? Make a little box, have enough room where you can put a little sponge on the side right depending on where you live i live in a humid sort of west coast tempered rainforest so it's not that dry right so i used to have a big box where i could put boxes of cigars in and on the side i had a little temperature and humidity gauge and whenever the humidity if it went down i would take a wet sponge and then squeeze it out and then put it in a bowl and just put it in the side of the box and close the lid and then a couple of days the humidity reached a good good humidity and the temperature was always fine okay so it was fantastic it was fantastic gang thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed um something i promised to do a while ago and someone uh northern boy on youtube reminded me that i had promised to do this and i believe gina on the last set of streams we did mentioned something about cigars so we had to do this i had I, while i was going through boxes i grabbed some stuff and i knew where this was so grabbed it to go through it to show you guys and at some point we'll talk more cigars for sure for sure okay aside from that gang mods thank you for taking care of business gang thank you for being here if you want to know who i am what this is all about i'm on patreon patreon forward slash patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to support this project i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike for those of you who are supporting this work through patreon thank you thank you very much thank you very much for the stream rendell says my pleasure rendell thank you for being here and thank you for reminding me to do this gang we are live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat as is happening twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who subscribe to follow thank you very much for the subscribes and the follows gang and the discussion we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on elo minds vk gap um part of parter and twitter okay you can follow the work on those platforms and we do share additional content there for live streams where we don't have any visual when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube I'm not sure how YouTube's gonna handle it uh, because this tobacco talk uh, disclaimer I'm not promoting people to smoke cigars I'm just sharing as Bill Hicks would say let's talk about some of the pleasures in life right and I'm just sharing a great love that I have had in my life for a number of decades since the 1980s that I continue to have in my life even though I don't smoke cigars on a regular basis it is something there that i know at some point i will sample again right it's just anything on that level do in moderation make sure you don't get addicted to anything because addiction to anything especially tobacco and alcohol and certain other things could be quite harmful right and junk food right so manage your life manage your passions don't let your passions become your addictions cigars included 
okay gang aside from that thank you for being here and i'll see you guys four more days of streaming we talk conspiracies tomorrow we do movie stream on friday we read a comic book i believe on saturday and on monday we choose we choose more movies to watch for our movie club okay gang youtube is choose your word elder god says gang see you tomorrow if you can make it bye everyone